Don't judge me. Over the past few years, Netflix has taken the reins from regular network and cable television to deliver some of the most popular shows around the world. It has spawned a revolution in entertainment and led to a shift away from traditional television to web-based platforms. The media services provider has gone beyond its original movie rental format to producing original programming everyone is watching. So with this, 2021 promises to be one of the best ever in terms of entertainment. One of the main reasons for this is Netflix's outstanding lineup of shows premiering all year long. Today, we're talking about why 2021 will be Netflix's biggest year. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini or MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. First up on our list is Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is the continuation of the Karate Kid trilogy from the 1980s. It follows the villain from the original film, Johnny Lawrence, played by William Zabka, whose life has taken a downturn 30 years later following the events of the movie. He befriends a young neighbor boy and begins teaching him karate. This inspires him to reopen his martial arts school and fix his life. The series introduces numerous interesting new characters and reignites the rivalry between Johnny and Daniel LaRusso, played by Ralph Macchio. The show seamlessly blends action, comedy, and drama while peppering in some plot twists that keep everyone guessing. Season 3 of Cobra Kai is scheduled to premiere on January 8, 2021, after a long hiatus due to transferring from YouTube Premium to Netflix as well as the COVID-19 pandemic. Fans of the series are eagerly awaiting its return. At number two on the list, we have Sex Education. Sex Education is a British dramedy starring Asa Butterfield as Otis Milburn, an insecure teenager, and Gillian Anderson as Dr. Jean F. Milburn, his sex therapist mother. The plot of the show centers around Otis's awkward teenage life and his mother's frank assessment of things from a sexual and psychological psychological perspective. There's an extensive cast of interesting characters, as well as several romantic entanglements. The show has become quite popular and is also well regarded by critics. Season 3 of Sex Education will premiere in early 2021. Watch out for this critically acclaimed show on Netflix this winter. Next on the list is Big Mouth. Big Mouth is an animated coming-of-age adult sitcom created by Family Guy writer Andrew Goldberg and comedian Nick Kroll. The show revolves around middle school students as they go through puberty. The main concept is that the animated format enables the creators of the series to show provocative material material and subject matter in a comedic way without being as offensive as they would be in real life. Many well-known comedians also lend their voice talents to the show, including Maya Rudolph, Jason Manzukas, John Mulaney, Fred Armisen, Jenny Slate, and more. Season 5 of Big Mouth will premiere towards the end of 2021. If you like hilarious and awkward, cringeworthy comedy, be sure to watch out for it on Netflix. Coming in at number 4 on the list, it's Hashtag Black AF. Hashtag Black AF is a sitcom about an African-American family that has recently risen to a high economic status. The show focuses on what it's like being a black family in America and adjusting to being wealthy and successful in the modern world. It features Rashida Jones and Kenya Barris as Joya and Kenya Barris, the parents of the main family in the show. It's known for its snappy dialogue and unfiltered jokes. Season 2 of Hashtag Black AF will be released sometime in 2021. No specific date has been announced yet. Watch out for it next year. Next up, we have The Witcher. The Witcher is a fantasy show that takes place in an alternate medieval universe. It's based on a series of novels by Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski. The book spawned a very successful video game series as well. The show stars Henry Cavill as the titular Witcher, which is a magic-powered warrior and monster hunter. As you can imagine from that description, there is a lot of fantasy action in the show. There are mythological creatures as well as other super-powered people such as witches and wizards. Fans of the Lord of the Rings series or Game of Thrones would certainly enjoy this show. Season 2 of The Witcher is scheduled to premiere late in 2021. The show is a perfect cure for anyone who's itching for a fantasy adventure series. Keep a close eye on your net Netflix feed for updates. Coming up next, it's Castlevania. Castlevania is an adult animated series about vampires and monster hunters. It's based on the popular video game series from the late 1980s. The show follows a vampire hunter named Trevor Belmont, played by Richard Armitage, who tries to defend the region of Wallachia against the forces of Dracula, who is determined to destroy it out of revenge. The show features some intense action and violence that is meant to be a revival of 1990s adult-themed Japanese animated series. It also contains numerous elements familiar to anyone interested in vampire and werewolf mythology, the series is a definite must-see for anyone who loves mature anime. Season 4 of Castlevania will premiere sometime in 2021. Since no specific date has been announced yet, fans of the show are eager for any news about when it'll return. Next up, we have Stranger Things. Stranger Things
Vikings is a science fiction horror series set in the 1980s. The incredibly popular show takes viewers on a nostalgic trip back to many of their childhoods by combining elements of similarly themed movies made by Steven Spielberg, Stephen King, and John Carpenter with its Midwestern 80s setting. Several outstanding actors and an elaborate and exciting plot make the show one of the most binge-worthy of all time. Without giving away too much, the plot centers around a small town in Indiana where many supernatural things occur after a local boy goes missing. The show features cast members in three age groups who take on all of the craziness as they race through the spooky story. Season 4 of Stranger Things will premiere at an undetermined date in 2021. It was supposed to come out in 2020, but was delayed due to the global health situation. Since it is one of Netflix's most popular shows, fans of the series are highly anticipating its release. At number 8 on the list, we have Black Mirror. Black Mirror is a British dystopian science fiction anthology series. Anyone who has ever seen The Twilight Zone will easily recognize its influence on the show. Each episode focuses on an alternate present or near future where some sort of technology is influencing society with unexpected consequences. It often has a satirical or scary tone. Some episodes are lighter or darker than others. The show asks many questions about technology and presents interesting outcomes that inspire its viewers to ponder what may happen as the world continues to develop. Many noteworthy stars have appeared in the series, which lends some much-needed performance power to the twisted plots. Next up, we have Disenchantment. Disenchantment is an animated fantasy comedy series created by The Simpsons and Futurama creator Matt Grenning. Fans of Grenning's work will instantly notice the similar art and comedy style from his other beloved shows. Simply put, Enchantment takes viewers into a fantasy world that is very much akin to The Simpsons or Futurama. The show follows comedian Abby Jacobson as Princess Bean, a hard-drinking royal who doesn't take her duties in life all that seriously. She goes on adventures with her two buddies, Elfo, played by Nat Faxon, and Lucy, played by Eric Andre. As a cartoon fantasy show, it can easily be surmised what types of things one would see upon viewing the show. There are, of course, a lot of mythological creatures and magical creatures as well, as well as many laugh-out-loud moments to enjoy. Part 2 of Season 2 of Disenchantment is scheduled to be released in 2021. This is one of the series that will undoubtedly have a cult following for years to come. Don't miss the boat when the next part premieres. Next, it's F for Family. F for Family is an animated sitcom that takes place in Pennsylvania in the early mid-1970s. It was created by and stars comedian Bill Burr. Fans of Burr's comedy can easily spot his comedy style and subject matter in the show. It follows Burr as Francis Frank Murphy, the father of a family of Irish Americans who works at an airport. The show has no shortage of hilarious hijinks as well as heartfelt moments when dealing with relatable real-life problems. One of the best things about the animated shows of this kind is how creators are able to use animation to show audiences serious subjects in a much more lighthearted manner. The series has many great cast members such as Laura Dern, Justin Long, Sam Rockwell, and David Kuchner. The fifth and final season of F is for Family will premiere in 2021. Don't miss your chance to binge it when it drops sometime next year. Last but not least on our list is Grace and Frankie. Grace and Frankie is a comedy show starring the legendary actress Jane Fonda as Grace Hansen and Lily Tomlin as Francis Frankie Bergstein. The show follows the two aforementioned women as they become friends following the revelation that their husbands are in love with each other. For those unfamiliar with the series, you can rest assured that it delivers in terms of great comedy and performances. The show features a strong supporting cast of other great actors including Sam Watterson, Martin Sheen, Brooklyn Decker, Ethan Embry, June Diane Raphael, and Baron Vaughn. Grace and Frankie has been nominated for several awards. Grace and Frankie Season 6 will premiere in late 2021. Production of the series was halted due to the 2020 pandemic. Viewers are eagerly awaiting its return once the situation improves next year. Season 6 of Black Mirror is coming out at an undetermined date in 2021. This one can't be missed, so stay tuned to Netflix for updates on its release. That wraps up our video about why 2021 will be Netflix's biggest year. We'll see you next time.